Good morning students welcome back to the class 11 subject business study today we are going with the lecture number 14 as we have completed our topic known as types of partners today we will see type of partnership in today's video we will carry forward partnership deed also and one more part if time permits then we will go one more part related to cooperative society so let's begin with the first topic known as type of partnership in that we have two categories one is on the basis of duration and one is based on a liability so if you see on the board as i have written on the basis of uh, durable duration and then in another part it has been mentioned on the basis of liability so in that we are also having two more categories in durable in duration we are having uh, one is partner at will and another part is particular partnership on liability side it is mentioned that uh, one is uh, related to limited liability and another part is uh, general partnership as general partnership has been studied various times uh, let's begin with the topic of duration what is partners at will partners at will means every individual has interest of partnership form they are ready to share profit and loss they are going with the particular uh, business which is very much uh, sufficient for all every partner is participating active and they are ready to share all the profits and loss their liabilities are unlimited but what happens when the partners are not interested i have made a bracket sentence here it has a mentioned desire of partner some partners are having desire to work but sometimes the person is not interested or he or she is insolvent or he or she doesn't wants to do business with the particular other partners so what they do they create notice period they ask for a ransom or they can leave the partnership uh, by dissolving the agreement and other partners if they want to start they can continue with the new agreement so every partner gets noticed if the person is not ready to work so it is considered as partners at will meri ichha hogi to hi main kaam karunga aur wo kaam aisa hi karunga jisme sabko fayda ho अगर पार्टनर्स एग्री नहीं है तो मैं वो बिजनेस को कैरी फॉरवर्ड नहीं कर सकता हूँ और उसको मुझे बंद करना पड़ेगा सो so, इसी को हम कहते हैं पार्टनर्स एट विल एवरी इंडिविजुअल शुड हैव इंटरेस्ट टू कैरी फॉरवर्ड दैट बिजनेस इज कंसीडर्ड एज बिजनेस पार्टनरशिप एट विल नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज पर्टिकुलर पार्टनरशिप पर्टिकुलर पार्टनरशिप इज रिलेटेड टू एन एग्रीमेंट इन विच a partners comes together for a specific product or product or project or work it is considered as particular partnership where they share profit and loss according to the appropriate ratios is considered as particular partnership you can see as i have written for your specific work or project your two different people comes together for a specific project they agree profit and loss in sharing ratios and once the work has completed then their partnerships are dissolved it is related to duration it is mentioned the category as duration one is partners at will another is particular uh, partnership in both partnership forms the partners desire is must in next part i have mentioned uh, on the basis of liability if we talk about the general partnership we have studied a lot in earlier phases what is partnership what uh, they are the work what they are doing in that we have studied about general partnership as in general partners every partner is an active participant plus they their liabilities are unlimited they share profit and loss according to the appropriate proportional rate or they can be going further with the equal distribution of uh, assets and liabilities or profit and loss 
it is considered as general partner in general partnership every individual has a right to take decision everyone has to be an active participant everyone should work for the organizational benefit it is considered as general partnership in next line it has been mentioned limited liability what happens in this one partner has to bear unlimited liability and the rest members are been having their liabilities at limited period of time it is considered as limited liability ek individual pura ka pura business handle kar raha hai uski liability jo hai wo unlimited hai whereas other partners jo hai unki liability limited hoti hai to aise bhi partnership create ki ja sakti hai we will see now the next topic is partnership deed here we go with the partnership deed what is partnership deed partnership deed is an uh, written document in which the rules and regulations terms and conditions are been governed by the partnership for the partnership it is considered as partnership deed partnership deed ke andar wo records hote hain jisme rules and regulations hota hai partnership ek document hai jiske andar terms and conditions of a partnership pura likha hota hai usko kehte hain partnership deed ab partnership deed mein kya kya required hai jo maine इस साइड में लिखा है पहला पॉइंट में लिखा है नेम ऑफ द कंपनी कौन सी कंपनी है उसके बाद में नेचर एंड लोकेशन ऑफ द कंपनी कंपनी कौन से टाइप का बिजनेस करने वाली है उसका लोकेशन क्या है फिर बाद में ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द कंपनी ड्यूरेशन क्या क्या होगी उसके बाद में लिखा है मैंने इन्वेस्टमेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट कितने पार्टनर्स हैं कितने पार्टनर्स ने मिलकर कितना मनी इन्वेस्ट किया है उस पर्टिकुलर पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म में वो सब कुछ यहाँ पे शो करना पड़ता है पार्टनरशिप डीड के अंदर नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस यहाँ पे प्रॉफिट शेयरिंग रेशियोज क्या है कौन सा पार्टनर कितना लॉसेज या प्रॉफिट गेन करेगा या बेर करेगा ये भी मैंशन करना जरूरी होता है उसके बाद में आता है ड्यूटीज एंड ऑब्लिकेशन ऑफ पार्टनरशिप कौन सा पार्टनर कितना काम करेगा उसका क्या क्या रोल रहेगा बिजनेस के अंदर वो सब कुछ यहाँ पर मेंशन करते हैं पार्टनरशिप डीड में उसके बाद में सैलरीज एंड विड्रॉवल ऑफ पर्सन अ पार्टनर कैन विड्रॉ अ मनी अकॉर्डिंग टू द प्रोसीजर एंड देन ही और शी कैन गेट सैलरी फॉर एक्स्ट्रा वर्क ऑल्सो देर आर सर्टन रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन मैंशन यूर टर्म इन टर्म्स एडमिशन ऑफ अ पार्टनर और रिटायरमेंट ऑफ एन पार्टनर और द पर्सन इज इन नॉट इन अचुएशन टू कम बैक फॉर द बिजनेस डेथ इंसॉलवेंसी दिस काइंड ऑफ टर्म्स एंड रेगुलेशन हैज टू बी फॉलोड अकॉर्डिंग टू पार्टनरशिप डी देन इंटरेस्ट कैपिटल एंड इंटरेस्ट ड्रॉइंग्स विच इज नॉट मैंशन हुआ है बट देर हैज टू बी अ प्रोसीजर फॉर इंटरेस्ट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट इंटरेस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल एंड इंटरेस्ट ऑफ ड्रॉइंग there are certain percentages which has to be framed in partnership deed next is procedure what are the procedures of dissolving the firm agar business mein koi partner nahi raha ya expire ho jata hai ya fir wo partner kaam nahi karna chahta to firm ko kis tarah se dissolve kare uski bhi policies aapko banani hoti hai procedures follow karne hote hain next part is preparation of accounts and their audit bahut baar to partners khud hi audit and accounting kar lete hain तो उसके रिलेटेड भी दूसरों को हम लोग एनहेंस करते हैं उसके बाद में आपको बोला गया है मैथड्स ऑफ सॉल्विंग डिस्प्यूट अगर पार्टनर्स के बीच में कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स हो जाती हैं तो प्रॉब्लम्स कैसे सॉर्ट आउट किए जाएंगे कौन जूरी होगी कौन कौन सा रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन फॉलो करेगा किसके बीच में डिस्प्यूट है वो भी सब कुछ यहाँ पे डिस्कस किया जाता है अकॉर्डिंग टू पार्टनरशिप की पार्टनरशिप इट इज नथिंग बट अ रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट इन विच टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन आर बीन फ्रेम बाय द गवर्निंग टू फॉलो द पार्टनरशिप डीड पार्टनरशिप डीड को फॉलो करने के लिए पार्टनरशिप डीड को स्मूथ करने के लिए पार्टनरशिप को स्मूथ चलाने के लिए रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन गवर्न किए जाते हैं उसको कहते हैं पार्टनरशिप डीड और पार्टनरशिप डीड में ये सारे डिटेल्स चाहिए यहाँ पे मैंने सिर्फ टेन लिखे हैं एक्चुअली नियर अबाउट थर्टीन एंड फोर्टीन टर्म्स आर बीन देर हो रहे हैं वेन आई टू गिव यू द नोट्स इन दैट ऑल द टर्म्स विल बी देर यू हैव टू फॉलो दैट टर्म्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग विद द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म सो यू वी गो विद द रजिस्ट्रेशन रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म हैज लॉट ऑफ बेनिफिट्स एंड समटाइम्स हेयर इज अ नॉन बेनिफिशियल पार्ट फॉर नॉट रजिस्टर इन द फॉर्म so here we go with the registration of a partnership firm as 
we can go with the certain procedure by providing the name of the company, location, duration, then number of partners, investment, capital, procedures of dissolving, procedures of terms and rules and regulations of dispute. Everything has to be formed by the partnership deed registration forms. You have to submit it to the registrar of the companies. They are the persons who make sure that all the documents which has been shown by you or shared by you is correct. So what kind of uh, non-benefits of registration is been mentioned on the board and what are the benefits of registration. If you go with the registration part then if any dispute occurs with a third party, with the uh, company, with the partners then you can go and file a case against them under the registered form. What happens if it is not registered then you are not able to file a complaint against the firm, against the person, against the third party related to money. This kind of situations can be occurred as non-registered firms. So what are the procedures for the registration? I have mentioned three points over here. In that three points, a detail is there, but it is enough to understand the procedures. Procedures means steps. Every organization has to follow certain steps for registering the form. The first point is submission of application. For uh, startup or registration of the form, you have to submit the application form in that all the information related to form, form organization, location, product, terms, rules and regulations, capital, investments, Everything has to be mentioned in that submitted application. Once it has been submitted to the registrar of the company, you have to pay the deposits which are required for the registration purpose. Once you have submitted the registration form and you have deposited the fees of registration, the registrar will see all the documents related to the firm's registration. Once he is satisfied with the documentation work, he or she will carry forward registration for approval. Once the registration is approved, the registrar will provide you the certificate of registration. In that the organization will start work further and in that situation the business can carry forward with the particular rules and regulations which are being framed by the Companies Act and Partnership Act 1932. Every rule has to be followed under the registration. If something goes wrong, partners or companies are liable to go to court for settle that disputes. It is considered under the registered form. Hope so, you have understood the partnership deed and registration benefits and the procedure of it. We will provide the notes in detail. You can go with the theorem parts. I hope you will be seeing that part. Now we will carry forward with the cooperative society. I will give only an introduction related to cooperative society. What is cooperative society? Cooperative society is a non-voluntary, non-profit organization. In short, I would say non-profit organization. In cooperative society, every individual is working for non-profits. It is going with the social welfare. It is considered as non-cooperative society. In non-cooperative society, there is a cooperative society act 1912. In 1912 Act, minimum 10 adults are required to start up that organization. If less than 10, what happens? Registration will not be happening. So, cooperative society registration is compulsory. It is not like partnership. You want to do, then do. If you don't want to, it is not like that. In cooperative society, organizational firm has to be registered. Here, welfare work is going on. The capital are being invested by the members itself and no other persons are being uh, taken care of it. What happens here if the firm is working very uh, 
social welfare they are doing once they are doing social welfare they get benefit sometimes the partners are gone out of it it doesn't impact the cooperative society just make sure that the cooperative is started once with the 10 members the partners can go a person can leave or if they are ready to take new members they issue shares itself it is considered as cooperative in next video we will see in detail what is cooperative society then we will see over the topic known as uh, features merits and demerits of cooperative society and different types of cooperative society will be shared to you in next video and after that completing cooperative society whole topic your pre mid term topic will be the world and then i'll provide you the name notes for that particular chapter you can carry forward with it uh, that's it for today thank you